Friday, I did it today at lunch with a bunch of sweaty friends. You'll be my sweaty friends after this. So like I said, you need moderate to light or dumbbells today. We're gonna to do a lot of upper body stuff. If you don't have it, that's fine. You can create tension just by moving your arms against an imaginary force. Um, our warm up today is four movements. Um, and we're gonna do three rounds of them, just little quick hits. It's a gentler warm up than we're used to. So I'm just gonna show you the four exercises and then we'll get started. So the first exercise is a dumbbell curl to an upright row. So if you have dumbbells, you can use them. If you don't, you can do this without any weight at all. You just create tension. All right, that's our first exercise. Then the next exercise is a plank or a push-up to a kick through. So a push-up will go like this, push-up, and then kick through, open up, push-up, kick through, open up. If you cannot do a push-up, you can do a plank, kick through like that. All right, the next exercise, you're gonna be in a side plank. So elbow under your shoulder, coming up on your hip, and you're gonna open up your legs in a clamshell. So you're gonna hold that side plank, open up the hips. The first round, we'll do one leg. Second round, we'll do the other leg. And then the third round, we'll switch legs. And then the last exercise, is a single leg Romanian deadlift. So if you have weights, you can hold them. If you don't, that's okay. So this one's all about balance. Only go to where you feel you're losing your balance. All right? And if you want to spice this up a bit, you can add it to some. All right, so you're hinging at the hip. You're not rounding. Back is flat. And if you cannot stand on one foot, stand on both feet and hinge forward. All right, so we're gonna do 30 seconds of work with a 15 second in between. We'll get started with that dumbbell curl to upright row in three, two, here we go. So curl, palms to you, elbows up. Curl, turn your palms, elbows up. So abs are engaged, your knees are soft, but your legs are active. If you don't have weights, you can use soup cans. They work just as well. Like I said, today we're gonna to be doing a lot of reps, a lot of upper body. Curl and lift. In three, two, one. We're gonna move into that plank kick through or push up and kick through, you decide. So coming into the plank position. In four, three, two, here we go, push up. Kick through, open up. If you cannot do the push up, just plank and kick through. So opening up the hips, opening up the shoulders, waking up the hands, the chest. Nice work, everyone. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, stay down. You're gonna come onto one side, elbow directly under your shoulder. You're gonna lift your hips up off the floor, leaving your knee on the floor. And we're gonna open up our hips like this. In three, two, here we go. So imagine someone's pushing down against your knee. Push up against them, activating the side of your bum. That's your glute knee. You're pulling your hip to your rib. You're contracting the side of your body. Pushing that knee up. Shoulder is strong, abs are engaged, chest is open. Four, three, two, one, max. All right, the same leg that was just on top, that's the leg you're gonna stand on for your single leg deadlift. If you don't want to stand on one leg, you can put one leg behind you. Here we go. So keep that back nice and flat. Shoulders are back, abs are engaged. Do not round your back. So even though you're tempted to touch the floor, if you can't do it without rounding your back, don't do it. You should feel that in the hamstring. 
So this is a nice stretch, not so much as a super high intensity activity. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. All right, with those dumbbells or soup cans back up, we're going to start from the top. Bicep curl with upright row. So palms up, wrists are neutral. Three, two, there we go. Curl, turn, and pull those elbows up. So imagine someone's pushing against your elbows and pushing against your hands. So you can create that tension even without weights. Curl, push up those elbows. Curl, push up those elbows. So the shoulder blades are back and down in both movements. Your abs are engaged. Good. Coming down into the plank position, we'll do that push up with kick through or plank with kick through. In four, three, two, here we go. Push up, kick through, open it up. If you can undo the push up for whatever reason, you can go back to the plank. You can also try a push up from the knee and then kick through. Whatever works for you. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna be on the other side now from the side plank. So elbow right under the shoulder. Put your knee into the floor, lift yourself up. Here we go. Push that top knee up. So using the side of your bum. We're gonna do a lot of squatting today. So we wanna open up those hips, wake up those legs, wake up those glutes. 15 seconds, push that knee up. Use the side of your bum, contract. Pelvis is neutral, neck is relaxed. Three, two, one. All right, that leg that was on top, that's the leg you're gonna stand on for that Romanian deadlift. Like I said, if you cannot stand on one foot, stand on both feet, or even have that back foot up behind for balance. Three, two, here we go. So sliding your hands down your thigh, keeping your back flat, Feeling that in the hamstrings. So that's the big muscle along the back of your leg. Chest is lifted, abs are engaged. Shoulders are back and down, so your back is flat. 10 seconds. Nice work. Rest. All right, we're gonna pick up those dumbbells one last time, so we're moving into our third round of a warm up. Like I said, this is a super intense circuit today. It's just to get the body moving. The rest of the class is intense. Here we go. Curl, upright row. Curl, upright row. So focusing in on your form. You're not rocking or heaving the weights up. You're using your biceps to curl up and then your shoulders to push those elbows up. Halfway there. Abs are engaged, lengthen up the top of your head. Knees are soft. Nice work, everyone. Four, three, two. All right, we're gonna come into that push up or plank with the kick through. And then our last two exercises, we're gonna switch half legs through. So you wanna be on the lookout for the fact that we're gonna switch it up. So let's do these first. In three, two, one. Here we go, push it up. Kick through. Remember, you can take out that push up and just hold the plank. You can also do push ups from the knee. Whatever works. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, all right. So we're gonna do the clamshell side plank, half on one side, half on the other, so we'll switch part way through. So let's come up right now and get started. 
Just ignore the beep. Let's get started so we have enough time to get equal bits on each side. So shoulders right over top of your elbow. Abs are engaged. Switching sides in three, two, switch sides super quick. There we go, come back up. Opening up the other leg. Four, three, two, one. All right. For our last one, Romanian deadlifts, you're welcome to do both legs the whole time or you can switch halfway through. I'll let you know when we get to the halfway point if you want to switch. I'm going to use both legs. Two, one. Here we go. So I'm raising my hands along my thighs, sticking my bum straight back, back is flat. Remember, if you want to spice this up a little bit, you can add a jump. If you're doing one leg, switch legs now. Remember, this is an opportunity to wake up your glutes and your hamstrings. One, and rest. All right, grab a quick drink of water. How is everyone doing? All right, we got all kinds of friends here. Welcome back, friends. All right, so today's strength is a AMRAP, so that means as many rounds as possible. We're gonna do a lower body one and then an upper body one. And we're gonna do each one three times, all right? So I'm gonna show you what the lower body exercises are. And we'll do that seat circuit first. And then on the rest in between the two, I'll show you what the upper body exercises are. So we're gonna get right into it. So the first exercise, is a goblet squat. So if you have a heavy object, a backpack, weights, whatever, you can hold it in front of you. We're gonna do six of these. So six, nice and low into the hips. Then, if you have a chair or a couch, you're gonna put your bum down on the chair or couch, extend one leg in front of you, and do a one-legged squat. So you're just tapping your bum down, standing up through the leg on the floor. If you don't have a couch or a chair, we'll extend that leg in front of you and go as low as you can without the couch or the chair. We're gonna do six per leg. Then you're gonna open your legs up really, really wide. You're gonna sit down into this hip and then swivel your bum back to the other side. So we're gonna do six of these total, six cross -ups. So six goblet squats, six single leg squats per leg, six cross -ups. I'm gonna do that around and around as many times as you can in four minutes. All right? So I'm gonna set the timer for four minutes and it's up to you to work as hard as you can during these four minutes. If at any point you need a break, please take it. All right, so picking up a heavy object or heavy dumbbells if you have them, Six goblet squats in three, two, one. So the first round, you're welcome to join me and then break off on your own. You may find my pace is too fast or too slow. So six goblet squats. Then six single leg box squats. You tap your bum down, stand up to the leg on the floor. Stand all the way up, squeeze your butt. Really use that glute. Extend that hip. Six on one side and six on the other. Squeeze that butt, stand all the way up. Then your cross abs can be weighted or unweighted. So shifting the weight back into the hip. Nice. We're one minute in. Keep going. Six of each. 
Moving at whatever pace is challenging for you. So that could be turbo today or slow and controlled. You decide. Stand all the way up, squeeze that bum. Sit into the heel, push up through the heel. Try and take momentum out of that squat. So moving at your own pace, whatever is challenging for you. In those Cossacks, keep the weight back in the hip, swiveling from side to side. We're two minutes in, we got two minutes to go. See how many rounds you can get in, you can do it. And remember, if you're using heavy weights, you're gonna move a bit slower than someone with no weights or lighter weights. Nice work, team. Stand all the way up. Squeeze your bum at the top. Six on each leg. Remember to use your glutes. Focus in on balance and control. Three minutes in, we got just under a minute to go. See if you can finish up another whole round. Nice work team, 30 seconds, finish it up. Other. You're 
You're going to bend your elbows, then push the weights part way up, all the way down, all the way up. Down, part way up, down, all the way up. So the elbows point forward the whole time. The only thing that moves is the elbow. Nice and quick. Mind your form. Elbows point forward. Let's do two more. forward so your back is flat. I'm going to push the weights out with the muscles of the upper back. So 10 at ease. So make sure you're hinging forward and using your back. You're not standing up and doing this. You're hinging forward, pushing the weights out from your upper back. Good. And when you're all done those, W press. So remember, there's a broomstick sticking in the front of your shoulder. You're pivoting around that broomstick. This isn't a regular shoulder press. This one is worse. Relax your neck. All right, we're halfway through. Let's start from the top. So you know what to do. 10 salt man curls. Finding a pace that's challenging. You want to try and get in a whole other round. You know what to do now. Let your body do the work. Once you're done 10 of those, flip you onto your back, arms straight up and your elbows, tricep extension. So the job of the tricep is to extend the arm. That's its only job. It has a very boring existence. But let it do its job today. Ten of those. When you're all done, ten of those, come up to standing. Ten first fly. So hinging forward. Abs are engaged. Pushing those weights up. Upper back and back shoulder are doing the work here. We got 45 seconds. Nice work everyone, keep going. 30 seconds. Keep that neck relaxed, abs are engaged. All right, I'm all done my round. We still got 20 seconds. That means I get to do more of these. Woohoo! Gun show. 10 seconds. Finish up your round. You're all done. Take away. You got five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, rest. Grab a drink. We have a quick break here, and then we're going to start from the top. So the next two rounds, we're going to do the same exercises, but we're only going to do three minutes. All right? So you know what's coming now. You know what equipment you have. If you want to pick up something heavier or lighter, please do that. All right. We're going to start with that lower body sequence again. So goblet squats, single leg couch squats, and toss ups. So we're doing three minutes of work now. Let's see how many rounds we can get in. In three, two, here we go, six goblet squats. Nice and quick. So this interval is shorter, it's only three minutes, which in theory means you can work harder because you're doing three minutes of work instead of four. So six goblet squats, six couch squats, single leg. Nice and quick, squeeze that bum at the top. So we're extending all the way up into that hip. Don't cheat your glutes out of a good workout. And then six Cossacks. Same thing, sit into the hip, nice and low. 
A lot of my stuff is quad dominant. I'm one of those people, as you can tell from my massive quads. But we want the quads and the hamstrings to be equally as strong. We also want the glutes to work hard. So pay attention to them. Six goblet squats, six single leg squats. Sitting down, standing up tall. Once you've done 10 of these, finishing it 
recap, we've got just over 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. You got it. Ten seconds. Finish up as many as you can. Four, three, two, one. All right, John, take a quick breather. We're gonna move through that all one more time. So lower body and upper body, and then we've got our conditioning. How's everyone doing? Thumbs up? Everyone's okay? All right, Michelle, you good? Very good. Savannah, how you doing? Sarah, I can't see you, but I'm assuming you're good. Hello, hello. Nice shirt, it's Michelle. Okay. Hi, hi. Okay. All right, everyone. Lower body, last time through. Six goblet squats, six couch box squats, six Cossacks in three, Two, here we go. Three minutes, as many rounds as you can. Try and keep up a quick pace. Get in as many rounds and as many reps as you can. This is your last time with these exercises. Challenge yourself. Remember to stand all the way up into that hip. Nice and wide, nice and low in those Cossacks, sitting into the hip. So it's almost like your bum is far back and it's polishing a surface. I know that sounds really weird, but you want to keep your bum back and down. All right, we're one minute in. Sit into those hips, stand up to those heels, stand all the way up. Six goblet squats, six single leg squats. Here we go. 
go. Curl and down. I had to put a little bit of background music on here because there's no one else in the building and it's a little bit spooky. So if you can hear inklings of my music, that's why. If you have your own music, turn it up. It's all good. So 10 of these guys. Then flip over onto your back. Tricep extension. You know what to do. Fully extend the arms at the top. Elbows point forward always. Palms face each other. Bringing those weights just to the side of your face. Once you're all done those, popping up, hinging forward, 10 reverse squats. We are at one minute. We've got two minutes of work left. Do it. Can do it. Good. Then 10 W presses. Check your abs. You got it. All right, we're at the halfway point. Check your pace. Starting a new round if you're there, if not, finish it up. Get started on the next round. You can do it. See if you can fit in a whole other round. Abs are on in this kneeling position. Nice work, everyone. I can see you working hard. Nice form. Ten curls, ten tricep extensions. Part way down, all the way down, all the way up. Extra little pump to the tricep. Keep those elbows pointing forward. Nice. Once you're all done on those, popping up, hinging forward. We've got 40 seconds. Woo. Get those reps in. 15 seconds. You got it, you got it. Five, four, three, two, Yes. All right, team. Okay. How's everyone doing? We good? Finish it up. We're alive. All right. We're going to move on to our conditioning now. So you need a heavy object. So that can be backpack, one dumbbell, a kettlebell, laundry jug, milk jug, whatever. Okay, I'm going to explain to you the format and then show you the exercises. So we're doing three rounds of conditioning. And they get shorter in length. So the first round, we're going to do 50 seconds of each exercise with a little 10 second breather in between. And then a whole minute of rest at the end. Round two, we're going to do 40 seconds of everything with 20 seconds rest. And then the last round, we're going to do 30 seconds of work with 20 seconds rest. So it gets easier as we go. All right, I'll show you the exercises now. So the first exercise is a non-push-up burpee. So no push-up. Then you jump over your heavy object, kick your feet up. If for whatever reason you cannot do a burpee, you can put your hands down, step, 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 step. Hop over your thing and do that on the other side, or you can hop from side to side over your weight, okay? Then the next exercise is a kettlebell, dumbbell, heavy object swing. So putting that weight down between your legs, sticking your bum back, standing up, squeezing your bum. All right, if for whatever reason you cannot do that, you'll hold your heavy object, 
sit down with it, stand up tall with it. All right? The next exercise is a ground to overhead. So if you have one heavy object, you're gonna put it down, pick it up, put it over your head. Down, up. If you have dumbbells, it's a ground to overhead. All right? Then the next exercise is a push press. So a little dip drive, pushing the shoulders up. And then the last exercise is a jump lunge. If you cannot do this, you'll pick up your heavy object and do alternating lunges. All right? So we're gonna do 50 seconds of everything with a really little break. I'm gonna set my timer and we'll get started. So pretty much, I want you to move as fast and as hard as you can. Even if you can't do the exercises, just move. Do some 80s aerobics moves. Do some jumping jacks. Just move. All right. In three, two, no push up your feet. Jumping over your object. Take the feet up. Good work, everybody. Nice and quick. Squeeze your bum when you kick your feet up. Halfway there. Keep it up, team. 15 seconds. You got it. Five, four, three, two, rest. All right, the next exercise is a kettlebell heavy object dumbbell swing. Sitting low, holding on to your object. Here we go. Swing it up, squeeze your back. So, this is an exaggerated. Thrust to so use your bum and your legs. Only swing the object to eye height. Squeeze your bum at the top to protect your back. Halfway there. 20 seconds. Pull your belly button. Squeeze your bum. 15 seconds. You got it. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Ground to overhead is next. So dumbbells, heavy object, whatever works. Knees are wide. Here we go. Not a lot of rest in this round, friends. But remember, it's your Need an extra five seconds breather, take it. Otherwise, keep going, push yourself. This is the opportunity to get your heart rate up, burn those calories, compete with yourself. Halfway there. For me, I find conditioning to be the most enjoyable part of the workout. That's just me. 10 seconds, keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, if you have dumbbells, use them. If you only have one heavy object, you can hold it in front of your face. Push, press. Three, two, here we go. So little dip drive, you bend your knees a little bit. Pop those weights up. Use the momentum of your legs to propel the weight up. So it's not this. It's quick. 30 seconds. Keep your neck relaxed. Abs are engaged. Twenty seconds. You can do it. Woo. Relax your neck. Ten seconds. You got it. Five, four, 
four, three, two, one. All righty, lunges are next. You can do jump lunges if you want or alternating lunges with heavy objects. Three, two, here we go. So if you're doing those jump lunges, you're nice and light on your feet, propelling yourself up through that front foot. Alternating lunges, same thing, sitting into the front hip, pushing up through the front heel. You got it. 20 seconds. 15 seconds. You got it. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Push yourself. Let me get a whole minute of rest. Five, four, three, two, rest. Woo! All right, grab a drink. Keep moving. We got two more rounds. The next one, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. Keep moving, do a little dance, have some water, enjoy this recovery time. All right, so you know what's coming now. Push up, legs, burpee, swings, Round to overhead, push press, lunge. Let's do it, are we ready? 40 seconds of work, burpee without a push up, jumping over your object. In three, two, here we go. Nice work, everyone. Keep it up, keep it up. Little dip drive. 
Use those shoulders, use the momentum. Relax your neck. Make sure your abs are engaged. Brace your core, especially as you push that weight up overhead. Halfway. You can do it. Nice work, everyone. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, lunges are next. Jump lunges, if you can, and if you can't, for whatever reason, alternating lunges, holding that heavy object. 40 seconds, then we're gonna rest for 40 seconds, and then we're gonna start our last round. In four, you got this. Three, two, let's do it. Pushing up that front foot. You got that heavy object in your hand. Regular lunges, stepping back. Halfway there, same halfway there. You got it. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two. Rest. All right, we're gonna rest for a whole 40 seconds. <sighs> How's everyone doing? We still here? Yes. Nice work, everyone. All right. Good. We got one more round. We're gonna do 30 seconds of everything, and that's it. We're almost there. <laughs> Breathe. And 
Enjoy this little rest, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, here we go, 30 seconds. Relax your neck. Use those abs. Good work team, 15 seconds to go. Almost there, almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. 30 seconds of work, that's it. You got this. 30 seconds, jump lunges, regular lunges, holding your heavy object. Let's do it, make it count. In five, last 30 seconds of work. Three, two, here it is. Using that front foot. You got it. Halfway. Keep it up, keep it up. Five, four, three, two, oh. That is it. Nice work, everyone. I'm going to unmute you all. Thanks, Kim. Good work, everybody. Nice. Good to see you all. Thanks, Kim. Thank you. Have an awesome day. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, Kim. Thanks, Michelle. Good work, Savannah. Good work, Aaron. We'll see you all later. See you tomorrow, Kim. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay.